Hey guys, this is Brian Jones for Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky, and this is Matt Chat. Uh, today's topic is technical versus tactical jiu-jitsu. So I'm going to contrast, I'm going to compare and contrast a technical approach or a technique-based approach to a tactical or a tactics-based approach. So let me define these terms first. And when you say tactical, everybody thinks of uh, people running around in vests all painted black and done this stuff, you know, and rifles and stuff. Obviously, jujitsu can be used for uh, law enforcement, military, things like that. That is totally not what I'm talking about. Tactical, I mean, uh, goal-based. That's, that's, that's a good one, goal-based. Uh, technical means uh, you have very detailed, specific uh, techniques that you use uh, to get the job done, okay? So, what I want to focus on is that my particular philosophical approach to Jiu-Jitsu is a tactical one rather than a technical one. I think that tactics trump techniques in the long run because techniques come and go, tactics do not. So, here's what I mean. Let's take a guard pass, for example. I can take a new person, put them in someone's guard, and tell them that their goal, their tactical goal, is to break the legs open and get around and pin that person in any other position from the top. Now, they may not know how to do it very well, okay, but they can figure some things out because they know where they are and they know where they're going. And they can tell if they're making progress. Okay, when they're brand new, they're going to get swept a lot, things like that. But at least they have an end point. Um, it's kind of like telling somebody to run a race and not telling them where they're going. They don't have a map, a flow chart. They don't have a guide. So you give them that guide, and then once they develop some attributes, then you can give them some simple techniques to plug into that equation. Okay, anything they do that's not against the rules of jiu-jitsu that gets them out of the guard and into cross side or into mount is probably some really really rough version of a technique that has a name that's been around for a long time because jiu-jitsu although it's still evolving there's you know only so many ways you can really pass over the legs or through them or around them or, um, so it's the, the key point here is it, they have a tactical uh, approach Technical is when you get a, and, I, and I've seen this, uh, I've seen things taught technically too, coaches, um, and again, I, I mean, there's all kinds of different coaching styles, so I'm not going to try to tell you mine is the single best or anything like that, but this is just how I approach this. But the way I feel about technique-based training is you come in and you get a, a load of techniques, um, especially early on, that don't have a context. It's like getting somebody hand you tools and you don't really know what they're for. You don't know where to plug them in. You don't even have a slot in your toolbox for them. You don't know when you would pull them out. They may be the best tool out there on the market, the highest price, it's indestructible, uh, it's very versatile. But if you don't have a, a context or a time to use it, if you don't know when to use it, then it's actually kind of worthless. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things somebody could give me a tool. I mean, I am not handyman by any chance. I don't know anything about car maintenance, <laughs> I don't know anything about working around the house. Uh, so if you give me this crazy tool for my car, I'll probably look at you and thank you for it and then try to figure out what it is on YouTube. Um, so if you focus strictly on ta uh, techniques, then it leaves a lot to be desired because people don't know when to use this fabulous thing. So if, well, another way we want to look at it is that Tactics give birth to techniques, okay? So jujitsu is constantly evolving, and there are different ways of passing, and all of these are responses to actions that your opponent might make. So if you're having some trouble, what the best thing is to learn a few basic techniques, have some uh, tactical goal in mind, try your techniques, and if you keep getting stuck, then that's when your coach can come in and say, hey, Technique wise, we can do this and it will get you out of this position. Or if you're advanced and you're working with your training partners, you're working with a, 
uh, another high level person, even somebody who's under your rank who's been in this position before might suggest something to you. Or you can just play around in the position and, and invent something new. You're like, well, I can do this because I know I need to be here. I need to get my leg out and this is a way to do it. I mean, how do you think there's a million techniques? I mean, somebody had to come up with these little techniques and these little variations. So these are all individualized techniques based on the overall principle of the tactics. So, the, in my opinion, tactics should precede techniques. Uh, tactics give birth to techniques and tactics are the reason for innovation in jiu-jitsu. Like to hear comments on this. Uh, comments box is open. This is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. Train hard, train smart, and train often. We'll see you next time.